Hi guys, I'm Greg James with Greg James Designs. I just want to take a minute to tell you kind of my story and where I came from and how I got into barn aluminium designs. I know that's crazy. Uh, you know, I grew up in South Texas in a tiny little town t called uh, Copano. Uh, well, actually it's called Bayside, Texas on Copano Bay. So I grew up on the Texas Gulf Coast. And I was uh, tooling along on my bicycle. I was about uh, 14 years old and I saw this giant wooden structure sticking out of a barn. And I'm like, what in the world is that? So I wander into this barn and there's an old man working on this huge wooden boat. It hadn't been 40 something, maybe even 50 feet long. It was huge and it was probably 12, 13 feet off the ground. It was, way, it was a big, big wooden boat. And the guy paid me no attention. You could tell it was kind of a normal thing to have him, people just wandering into his shop. So he, he didn't have time to stop and talk to everybody that came through. And so he just kept tooling along and I kind of followed him around the building for a little bit and he never talked to me. And I'm like, hey, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> And he had a thick Maryland accent. He was from Maryland. He said, oh, I'm building me a boat here, you know? And so he had this really thick boat. And um, come to find out, he built handmade wooden boats. And uh, I just thought that was the coolest thing I ever saw in my life. And so I told him, I said, I'll work for free if you teach me what you're doing. And he said, all right. <laughs> So, so I showed up every day and worked my rear end off for hours and hours, just absolutely having the best time of my life, just working on these old wooden boats. Everything was built by hand, and uh, it was just incredible. He put these, they were fishing boats along the uh, Texas Gulf Coast. They shrimped with them and crabbed, and so that was kind of the two main industries that he serviced. And uh, they had large coming diesels engines in them, Man, they were just amazing. So that kind of, I kind of fell in love with woodworking at that time and thought, man, I love working my hands. And so fast forward, I, I, I left high school in Texas and went in the U.S. Navy, go Navy, for about four years, met my beautiful wife and um, from New York. I mean, go figure. And so, but anyway, so I always just seemed to gravitate toward construction. So I started off in the remodeling uh, and also doing trim work. So I was a trim carpenter, cabinet maker for many, many years. And then in the mid nineties, I had a guy ask me, he said, hey, can you draw me some plans? Uh, I want to remodel this house I bought. And I said, yeah, I can do that. And so I just, you know, took me a little piece of paper and, you know, a square and ruler and a scale and just, just got my little scale out and said, okay, well, where's this door going? And so that was the very beginnings of, I thought, hey, I think I can do this. And so that progressed, uh, I, I became a general contractor and then I got in, involved in the design build industry on the commercial side. So that's basically where an owner will, has a project, maybe he's got, you know, a retail building or an auto shop or whatever, excuse me. And he said, you know, I need a building. And we basically design and build it all in one, under one roof. And so it was a really great learning experience for me. I designed most all the structures. So I say that because in the commercial side, we use lots of metal buildings. And so metal buildings were real familiar to me. Uh, you know, half of the stuff we built was a pre-engineered metal building. And uh, we was either doing warehouse, office warehouse, uh, auto shops, service, you know, for service industry, heat and air contractors, plumbers. And so those are real common to me. So I, I, I had a customer approach me uh, about a year ago now and said, hey, we, we have a little handicapped little girl and, and we heard you do plans and does home design. And, we, we want a home that's accessible for her. She lives in a wheelchair. And uh, I thought, well, I can do that. My wife has cerebral palsy. So I, I, I've lived with that all my life. And so, and then plus on the commercial side, as far as handicap accessibility, you know, all commercial buildings are basically built around ADA codes. And so that was a no brainer for me. So they said, well, we want a metal building. I thought, okay, well, I can do that. I did lots of metal buildings. We'll just put a house inside of it. And so that was kind of the beginnings of this whole journey for me. And um, 
And so that was my first uh, metal building home. And uh, they wanted a, they were gonna do a weld up building. And so, uh, which I'll talk to you about in a later video, but that's kind of my journey. And so uh, every day, all day long, all we do is uh, metal building plans and pole barn plans. Most of our customers, 90% of them, uh, want some sort of metal building, either a weld up building or a pre-engineered steel building. So uh, we can help you with that. And uh, I would love to help you with that. And if you just want to call and talk, you're like, hey, what is it? I don't even understand the process in this. Give us a call, I'll be glad to visit with you. And we'll just kind of talk through what you're gonna need. And uh, if you have to pull a permit, what the, what the different requirements are and that sort of thing. So give us a call.